All right. Um, so in this case, the first thing I notice about this is what, JJ, would you say would be the most glaring aspect of this sum? What is something that you notice, any kind of pattern that's going on? Anything. Yes. There's no comma here. I got a lot of people that want to say something, JJ. You got anything else you want to say? No. What do you think of, what do you see about the signs? Because I think that's what most people uh, notice. Uh, positive, negative, positive. Yeah, this thing, right? That makes them, they're alternating, right? Right? So automatically, before I even go anywhere further, I know that my summation has to include this. Right? That is our alternating sign rule. Anytime we see alternating signs, at least have that written down. Now, we're talking about a sum, not just a sequence, but a sum of this sequence. So therefore, I need to include my summation, my sigma. All right? Now, we look at how many terms we have. So now we need to fill this in. We have the rule, but we'll go through the rule in just a second. Let's, uh, let's start at 1, and let's say n will equal 1. And then how many terms are we going to go up for the sum? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're going to start at 1, and we're going to go up to 6. Now we have the alternating signs. Um, but let's be a little careful with this. If we have this alternating sign, if I put a 1 in for there, that means the first term is negative, correct? And is our first term negative? No, it's positive. So therefore, I'm going to say n plus 1. That's going to make it positive, negative, positive, negative. Does everybody see what I did there? Okay, so that's usually maybe like one of the only alterations you have to do. It's either plus one or minus one, and you might want to just kind of look at what your rule is, what you need for that. Um, so now we need to identify kind of our rule. And looking at these numbers, remember you're going to plug one into a rule and get this out. So the first thing I always look at is addition and subtraction. Um, this looks like it's growing pretty quickly, so I don't think addition and subtraction is going to work because we're doing. You know, plugging in 1 to get this value, 2 to get that value, 3 to get that value, 4 to get that value. So, well, and then we look at multiplying. So 1 by 3 would be work, but 2 times 3 would not give you negative 9n, right? So then you, what I'm looking at is I would look at, since this is growing so quickly, I would look at either squaring, cubing, or um, I would look at a power rule, meaning having a number raised to, uh, as a base raised to a certain power. And Let's just look at, uh, um, well, these aren't going to be any, none of, only 9 is the only square number, right? So that's really not going to work. So let's look at a base. What base produces these values? 3. three. So, and is this 3 to the n? It's 3 to the first, 3 to the second, 3 to the third, 4, 5th, 6th. So your rule is just going to be 3 to the n. Because this takes care of the signs, and this would be your rule. Okay. And that's it. Done.